Today on Rappler. House Speaker Martin Romualdez leaves it up to the President to certify the Maharlika Bill as urgent. Journalist Frank Simato finds support from watchdogs and fellow journalists after his cyber libel conviction. U.S. President Joe Biden signs the Respect for Marriage Act into law. Football giant Lionel Messi confirms he will play his last World Cup game at Argentina's finals game. Supporters, friends, and kin say a tearful goodbye to singer Jovit Baldivino. Spider-Man meets other Spider-People across the multiverse in the trailer of the Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. And the series on Prince Harry and Meghan racked up more viewing time than any other Netflix documentary during its first week. House Speaker Martin Romualdez says certifying the controversial Maharlika Investment Fund as urgent legislation will be up to his cousin, President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. This even if it was him who apparently came up with the idea in the first place. Well, that's up to him, no? Uh, we're very happy that the number of uh, congressmen who were not keen on it or critical are now joining and not just supporting, but even joining as co-authors. If a bill is certified urgent by the president, it's able to pass through Congress faster. Marcos recently expressed his commitment to the proposed fund. After days of being mum about it, presidential son, senior deputy majority leader Sandro Marcos and Romualdez's wife, accounts chairperson Yeda Romualdez, are also the original co-authors. Baguio City journalist and rappler stringer Frank Simatu finds support from watchdogs and fellow journalists following his cyber libel conviction. A Quezon City court convicts Simatu for a charge filed by former Agriculture Secretary Manny Pinol, which stemmed from a 2017 Facebook post. Nobel Peace Prize laureate and rappler CEO Maria Ressa says Simatu's case once again proves how libel laws are used to attack journalists. The National Union of Journalists of the Philippines condemns the conviction, noting the right to free expression and press is vital especially in dealing with public officials. Alter Media Network says Simatu's conviction amplifies the culture of impunity against journalists in the country. NGO Human Rights Watch also expresses concern over Simatu's case and says libel with criminal offense is an assault to democracy. The lower court's decision on Simatu's case can still be appealed. The court sets the jail time for Simatu to a maximum of five years and orders him to pay 300,000 pesos for moral damages. U.S. President Joe Biden signs the Respect for Marriage Act into law on Tuesday, December 13, at a jubilant celebration that featured U.S. singer Cyndi Lauper performing True Colors in front of thousands of supporters on the White House lawn. The new law provides federal recognition to same-sex marriages. United States House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, Vice President Kamala Harris and Biden all deliver speeches at the ceremony before the signing. Marriage is a simple proposition. Who do you love? It's not more complicated than that. And the law recognizes that everyone should have the right to answer those questions for themselves. The event features performances by pop icons Lauper and British singer Sam Smith. The creation of a Respect for Marriage Act comes out of concern the Supreme Court could reverse its legal support of such relationships. Football giant Lionel Messi confirms he will play his last World Cup game. When Argentina takes on France or Morocco in the final on Sunday, December 18, in Qatar. The Argentina captain led the team to a 3-0 win over Croatia in their semi-final on Tuesday and will earn his 172nd international sporting appearance at the weekend when he tries to bring the country its first World Cup title since 1986. Messi tells an Argentine media outlet, It's many years for the next one and I don't think I'll be able to do it. And to finish like this, it's the best. The 35-year-old is playing at his fifth World Cup. France and Morocco meet in the other semi-final on Thursday, 3 a.m. Philippine time. Hundreds of supporters, friends, and kin pay their last respects to singer Jovit Baldivino during his funeral mass and burial in Batangas province. Baldivino died on December 8 at the age of 29 after a stroke. Officials of the Santo Rosario local government also confer a posthumous award on Baldivino. 
On the last night of Baldivino's wake, fans wept and cheered as videos were played of the singer at his prime. Town officials also attend the singer's burial, which followed a long procession of vehicles and people marching behind Baldivino's body. Family and fans alike describe Baldivino as generous. His father, Hilario, thanks Baldivino for his generosity, saying the singer shouldered the education of his three siblings and built the family a large concrete home. Miles Morales is in for one huge adventure, with Sony Pictures Entertainment releasing a new trailer for Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. The two-and-a-half-minute clip shows Miles reuniting with Gwen Stacy on a trip through the multiverse where they discover more Spider-People. The duo come across new faces, including Issa Rae's Spider-Woman. Near the end of the video, Miles is also seen fighting Spider-Man 2099 Miguel O'Hara, played by Oscar Isaac. According to its official synopsis, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse will see, quote, Spider-Man Across the Multiverse to join forces with Gwen Stacy and a new team of Spider-People to face off with a villain more powerful than anything they have encountered. Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse Part 1, the first of a two-part sequel, is set to hit theaters in June 2023. Netflix says its documentary series about Britain's Prince Harry and his wife Meghan racked up more viewing time on the streaming service than any other documentary during its first week. The first three episodes of Harry and Meghan records 81.55 million viewing hours after its debut last Thursday, December 8. Harry and Meghan was the second most watched English language series on Netflix globally between December 5 and 11, behind only Adam's family drama, Wednesday. In the first three episodes, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex made a series of disclosures, with Meghan recalling her first death threat and Harry talking about wearing disguises to their date. The second batch of Harry and Meghan episodes will be released on Netflix on Thursday, December 15. And that's today's wrap. I'm Paterno S. Makel. Thank you for watching. Click the link below for the full story. Follow us on Rappler's YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok.